What's the difference between heart rhythm versus heart rate? Because people are always saying, oh, my heart rate's fast. I must be in an abnormal rhythm. I must be an AFib. You know, my heart rate's 110. I must be an AFib. But there is a difference between heart rhythm and heart rate. So let's look into this and see what actually we mean by both of those terms, because they do mean very specific things. So as a cardiac electrophysiologist, I'm not as concerned when somebody comes to me and says, my heart rate's going fast. What's going on? What's the treatment? Well, fast heart rate or tachycardia, which is just a medical term for fast heart rate, is just describing that your heart rate's fast, but it's not actually saying anything about who's in control of your heart. I'm more concerned about what source of electricity is in control of your heart, not so much how fast your heart is going at. What do I mean by that? Why the difference here? Well, remember, once again, your heart's just a dumb muscle. It's going to beat whenever it gets an electrical signal. If you were creating a Frankenstein monster and you created the, the heart and you're like, I gotta get this moving, you can't just wish that it starts moving and it's gonna magically start beating. You have to create some kind of electrical energy source because like zapping the heart muscle with a little electrical wire and a battery, your heart only moves when it receives electricity. So there is always a source of electricity that's controlling your heart because it's just a big dumb muscle. The question is always who's in control. We want your normal source of electricity to be in control of your heart. All of us have a normal source of electricity embedded in the roof of our heart. Embedded in the roof of your heart, there's actually, you're born with a cluster of specialized electrical cells called the sinus node. This is about two centimeters. And these electrical cells, they're the battery for your heart. They're actually what creates electricity. And every time they send a signal into your heart, your heart beats, just like you zapping your heart with an electrical wire. And when your normal rhythm source is in control of your heart, your brain's in control of that. You're born with these normal cells. Your brain actually has nerve connections from your brain to these normal cells. It talks to them and it tells them, speed up if you're exercising, slow down if you're sleeping. Speed up if you're in pain or stress, slow down if you're at rest. So this is why your heart rate varies depending on what you're doing because your brain tells the little cells what speed to go at based on what you're doing. That's why I want your normal rhythm to be in control. But if an abnormal rhythm like atrial fibrillation or atrial flutter or one of the other 15 different abnormal sources of electricity that develop in all different other walls of your heart were to develop, they can sleep, do nothing, or wake up and take over control of your heart and tell your heart to go at a faster speed. And then when they go back to sleep, they stop being in control and your normal rhythm takes back over control. So the question here is, just because you have a fast heart rate doesn't always mean that an abnormal rhythm is in control of your heart. What if you're exercising? and your normal rhythm's going faster because there's a good reason for it to go faster. What if you're stressed and your heart rate's going faster? What if you're in pain and your heart rate's going faster? I had a simplistic consult, I remember 20 years ago when I first came out of training and the doctors in the hospital said, well, why is this patient's heart rate 112 to 115 beats per minute? He's just sitting there doing nothing. So we looked at the EKG, which is our way of sensing where the electricity is coming from. And it was obvious that his normal rhythm source was in control of his heart. So why is his heart rate going at 112, 115 beats per minute? And he's just sitting there doing nothing. He's not exercising or doing anything. Well, why did he come in? Well, the patient came in with a bad pneumonia. So he's having shortness of breath. His body's under stress. Well, of course, your normal rhythm's going to speed up if your brain thinks you're under stress and it needs to. So not all fast heart rates mean you're in an abnormal rhythm. Now, if you're just sitting there doing nothing, your heart rate's 150 beats per minute, like you're running super fast on a treadmill, well, okay, maybe you might be under the control of an abnormal rhythm. But the way to verify is always to do an EKG or other heart rhythm monitor that captures your heart rhythm. And we can see where the electricity is coming from. Those of us who can interpret that correctly. And we know right away for a fact, whether it's your normal rhythm in control or not. And this obviously has huge implications because if you just say, oh, my heart rate's fast, I must be an AFib. Well, maybe you are, maybe you aren't. Maybe your normal rhythm is going fast for certain reasons. The treatments for your normal rhythm going fast versus AFib making your heart go fast are completely different. If you're under the control of an abnormal rhythm source that's making your heart speed up and go at these crazy speeds, well, that's not normal. And we don't want that to happen. So I can use medicines to slow it down. I can use stronger antiarrhythmic drug medications to keep those abnormal cells asleep. I can do a procedure called an ablation procedure where I map inside your heart, make little burns or freezes or other energy sources to destroy those cells and cure you of it. There's lots of things I can do because those cells don't belong there. But if your normal rhythm's going fast, well, we're not going to suppress your normal rhythm with a medication. We're not going to destroy it with an ablation procedure. Then you'd have no rhythm and your heart wouldn't beat, you'd be dead. No, we'd wanna find out why is your brain making your normal rhythm speed up 
Is there a good reason for that or not? And if there is, great. And if it's due to some other problem that's stressing out your body, well, treat that and then your heart rates will probably come back down to normal. So to summarize, heart rhythm and heart rate are two completely different things. Just because you have a fast heart rate or tachycardia, which just means fast heart rate, which is oftentimes when doctors aren't really sure what the abnormal rhythm or what rhythm is making your heart go fast. So they just labeled this non-specific term of tachycardia, which really means nothing other than fast heart rate. Just because you have fast heart rate doesn't automatically mean you're under the control of an abnormal heart rhythm. And the treatments as to who's in control can be completely different. For everything atrial fibrillation related, please feel free to go to my website, drscottlee.com, where you're gonna find more resources and also can follow me on social media.